This video is of Chase pushing some cattle off the feed and holding them back while there is feed in the bunk. This is one of the things um, I was asked to work on him uh, uh, with before he goes home. Uh, so I did just go ahead and put him in front of the bunk um, to kind of hold the cattle back. I'm just going to go ahead and get the feed ready. Uh, cut that part out of the video because it's just long and there's no point. Um, so he has to remain in his down until I ask him to do something else. I think he gets up there, so I just say, ah, hey, and then whenever he stops and pays attention, I can tell him to down again and then take the pressure off of him. Then I ask him to hold him, so he gets up, so that gives him permission to move. I would like him ideally to stay on my side, um, basically kind of like a drive for the hold. So if, uh, if he's in front of me and I tell him to hold, I don't want him to then swoop around the backside of cattle and bring them to me. I want him to hold them off of me or off of whatever I've got going on in front of me. So a couple of uh, commands that I might say here, once he's got the cattle pushed off of the feed, I would tell him to hold, hold them, hold them there, hold them. Uh, I might say, watch him, watch him if he's just not paying attention. Um, and if they are on the feed or he's having to really get in and push, I'm going to tell him, push him, push him up, push him off. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here. I had to move to the back side of the bunk to get the cattle to go up to the feed. So I'm telling him, push him, push him. And I'm using my line to keep him on the same side as me because he does, um, he'll get after him for a little bit, but then he wants to swoop around kind of to the back like he's going to try to bring him. Um, even though he's not a real fetchy dog, uh, I think he's more uh, comfortable biting on the heel. I have seen him bark at heads, um, maybe take a little uh, nip as he's going past a head, but I don't see him really square up and just take on a cow uh, face to face. Uh, so I do think he's more comfortable on the heels and so he's swooping around looking for what is available for him to bite. So that's what the line is for to keep him in the right position. So you see he goes side to side there. Say push him out of there, push him out of there, push him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Um, so I'm allowing the excitement. I know normally I say I, I don't really like a dog to bark, I don't like the tail up and excited. I really don't, but in this case, he's got to pump himself up to get um, to get in the mindset of pushing these cattle away. They are not, um, they are masters at reading a dog, and so they know if the dog is not serious, um, they can just continue to eat or push the dog out of the way to get to the feed. So I do allow him to be a little bit more amped up. Um, that's again what the line is for. If he has to be that amped up, I know my commands are not going to be 100% because he's not going to be listening as well. So just use the line to put him in the position that I want him to be in. And um, using that watch him or that hold him, um, that's kind of what keys him up to what's going on in front of him and uh, gives him that permission to be out in front of me. So if they get too close, that's absolutely fine. He can he can bark, bite, whatever he needs to do to get them pushed back. Um, as you can see, he swoops really big side to side um, when he does go in for a, a bite. Uh, so using that line, again, just kind of keeping him in the vicinity that I want him to be in. Um, he does a really pretty nice job of understanding stuff. Um, he just, he's got that really big swooping movement. And so, um, if he relieves too much pressure, the cows are just going to uh, basically go around him the other direction. So I let him get up on the feet again, tell him, push him off, push him off, push him off. And I've let go of the leash uh, this time just so you can see kind of what happens. So he goes around there to the heels, movement makes movement. He doesn't see any movement, so he doesn't know what he can take a bite of. He picks on the one that moves. Um, because that's easy. Movement makes movement. I've encouraged him and I'm getting him in there. He is starting to try to make movement, but you see how that if he swoops really big like that, the cows just kind of mull around him. And uh, also he's got to get in there on the heads. That's what's going to push them off this feed. So I call him into me. So I just forget trying to tell him to push him off. I call him into me so I can get a hold of the leash. And then I put him up in the feed bunk.
and he doesn't really like that because he's got to confront all that pressure right there. The barking is fine at this point because you can tell he's a little bit unsure about that. He did not want to jump up in the feed bunk. I'm just telling him, up, up, get up there. Once he's got him pushed off, it's there, hold him. tell him to take a break, give the cattle a chance to get back on the feed again. So this is good because all he's got is heads in front of him. And you see they move a lot easier when they can see the dog coming. So that's the key right there um, to push and hold the cattle off the feed. Number one is if they're already, um, if the cattle are already all over the feed, the dog's got to get in there and push them away from the front. Um, if you have, let's just say, a tractor or something with a bale of hay on the front of it and the dog can walk in front of the hay and just maintain his position, uh, then he would be able to hold the cattle off like that usually without having to get in there and push, push, push. So see, they can see him and as long as he jumps up there, so they're a little bit wary about that and they start moving. And he's got a, he does his little bark to push these, the one cattle off the actual food. And then this one here. And uh, that's okay. I let him kind of swoop, get those heels, um, because that's going to boost him up and kind of let him understand, yes, I do. I am okay with you getting in there and biting, um, but you need to be watching. There you go. And he jumped up over at that time. Um, I've taught one of mine to just jump into the feed uh you know, bunk and then kind of walk up and down and keep the cattle off of it that way. So you can see if he approaches from the front, they're much more um, easy to move because they can see him, they see him coming. And then he can swoop side to side um, to kind of just hold, the, hold them back from the feed at that point.